Okay, this is the Explorer electric lighter. When these first come out, I didn't really know what to think of them. The early ones that they were touting for survival had to plug in right down here. Wasn't waterproof. Batteries were kind of iffy. And they were kind of expensive. Now they've come down in price. Got this off of Amazon and I think it was like 12 or $14. They're not that expensive. You can find it under Explorer electric lighter or plasma lighter and it'll come up pretty fast. It has a lock, push button that snaps open, O-ring sealed, which makes it pretty water resistant. This one's been swimming, so it's pretty good. The early ones had the four terminals in a, where the plasma arc was in an X down inside and you actually had to stick something down in it to get it going. And it, it lit an amazing amount of stuff. This one, as you can see, is on top. It'll have, I think it said 200 second and a half ignitions. And the plug-in, which is the USB port, is inside, which helps drastically because you get these wet, they're done. They're just absolutely done. No, 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 nothing anymore after that. All right. I've heard people talk about building a shelter under red cedar trees and that's a very bad thing even when it's wet red cedar has a resin in it that will burn like nobody's business. We've seen when they burn pastures off out here in the in the Kansas forests out through here these trees will grow 20 20 feet tall somewhere there about sometimes and when the grass gets under them that's burning they go up and they candle you've seen flames blowing 70 80 feet in the air and they're just popping hissing it's nuts how they burn i'm going to try to catch that on video because every now and again they burn them off around but this is what it is we'll see how this does just igniting it like this because i know this will do grass this has been down a little bit so it's kind of dryish. you can see where it's starting to want to burn it already You can see, I'll see if I can pull it in closer when I edit this. You can see where the resin's actually getting melting. There it goes. And I was pulsing it. So you didn't, I didn't leave it on all the time. I'd pulse it for about a second at a shot and just move it. But there it is. That's it. That's the ignition. I might heat the rocks up for a later, an upcoming video, but this is, I wanted to show this with this lighter. This does grass. It'll do small bits of wood. It actually lights quite a lot. I was kind of impressed with the little thing. The only downside is, is if you're out in the bush with it and you don't have solar cells or one of those big battery packs for your phone to charge it, it's done. And so at that point, it'd be a useless piece of gear. It's got a bit of 550 or 95 cord, I think is what it is on it with a whistle and this whistle you don't want to blow it like this stick it in your mouth like this and blow sound comes out the side and that's getting warm already that's the whistle and you can see how that burns I'm getting out of the way that burns quite well and it burns quite fast so you don't ever want to build a shelter down under this mess but the Explorer lighter will start a fire for you. Smash the subscribe button such as you would you'll feel some foe.